Hello class and other random internet people. Let's talk about this asteroid which just new news hit. Fresh news. 3.1% chance of hitting in the year 2032. What asteroid is this? This is asteroid 2024 YR4. So if you want to learn more about it, Google that. Uh, what is it? It's about a 100 meter wide asteroid. This is not a picture of it. This is a picture of asteroid Bennu, but it might look similar to that. Uh, why is this such a big deal? This percent chance has been increasing, and a 3.1% chance of something hitting Earth is basically the largest chance we've seen since, Nat since NASA has been watching out for this stuff for the last few decades. Uh, so imagine rolling a 32-sided die, and if you roll a 1, somebody on planet Earth is going to have a very, very, very bad day. Uh, more updates on this will continue. NASA is taking this very seriously. They're going to be pointing the James Webb Space Telescope at this soon. Uh, my question lies in that, are they going to be able to narrow this down to either a zero or a hundred percent before they get to the point where they can't observe this again until 2028? Uh, 2028 is getting a little too close to 2032. You need to be planning for a mission if you're going to do something about this before then. Uh, so NASA is going to try and get as much data as they can out of this before that hits, I'm sure, especially if they're pointing the James Webb at this. So, let's assume it does hit the Earth. Where might it hit? Here is an estimated pathway. There's a lot of maps kicking up about this right now. However, I have seen these maps kind of constrained a little bit. They used to extend farther out here and out here, and I don't see that happening anymore. Uh, so it looks like they're narrowing it down more and more. But as you can see, there's potentially a lot of people that live in these areas where it might hit. Some of the largest cities in the world uh, are in these areas. Uh, here's a map showing that. This is from The Independent. Trent Krem gave this to me. And as you can see, very, very large cities with millions and millions of people. So, what kind of damage are we talking about? Uh, the estimates I've seen is this would be on par with some of the largest nuclear bombs ever tested. This is a picture of the Tsar Bomba, the largest nuclear bomb ever tested. Uh, if it hit in the ocean, uh, this would likely be not... It would be not the same as a tsunami that's generated from a tectonic... Uh, generated tsunami where you have plates shifting underneath the ocean and that kind of energy can travel extremely far. This would be more localized however if you're close enough to this the waves would be extremely high but that energy would dissipate out fairly quickly and that tsunami would be uh, less damaging. So it's not going to be basically it's not going to be a tsunami that's going to travel across an entire ocean or across the entire planet which has kind of happened before in the recent history uh, with that earthquake in Japan in 2011 uh, and the Indonesian earthquake, I forget when, I think in 2004 or something. So, think extremely large nuclear bomb or a very nasty tsunami. Uh, this is not going to cause any kind of climate change or a mass extinction. Um, it's kind of annoying to see a lot of folks joke about this online. This kind of needs to be taken seriously. This is at a point where at 3% you need to be kind of emailing your congressional people saying like, hey, uh, maybe let's poke NASA a little bit and make sure they're focused on this and need all the resources they could possibly need to do something like this because 3% is significant. Uh, you don't risk a nuclear bomb going off and killing tens of millions of people uh, at that kind of percentage. So, uh, But I will say there's a lot of uncertainty with some of this, especially in terms of the effects. Uh, could this thing explode in the atmosphere? Yes, that's what happened with the Chelyabinsk asteroid. Uh, had that blown up about a mile lower in the atmosphere, there would have been a lot more people that died from that. Uh, really, I don't know if anybody died. It was just a lot of broken glass and people getting hurt. Um, so, should be taken seriously. Uh, I'll likely post on this in the future. I'm kind of a nerd on this. I've been talking about it a long time. Back in the 2010s, I used to post on Facebook a lot about how we needed to watch out for stuff like this. And here we are. Uh, so if you have questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. Uh, that goes for my students as well. If you want to send me emails or Canvas messages or whatever, I'll be happy to talk about this. And uh, as this kind of hits the news more, I'll probably incorporate it into class a little bit because uh, this is Earth Science. Uh, yep, I will talk to you guys later.